Throughout history, some individuals stand out and are widely celebrated, while others equally remarkable end up remaining in the shadows, with their journeys less known. This is the case of Lozen, an Apache warrior whose life was marked by bravery, resilience, and unshakable determination. As we explore her path, it becomes clear that history hasn't always done justice to those who most deserved recognition. Even so, Lozen's legacy endures, representing so many other unsung heroes who have shaped the course of humanity. I invite you to learn more about this fascinating figure who, with her courage and skills, became one of the most respected warriors among the Apaches. Her story is a powerful reminder of the human capacity to endure and triumph, even in the most challenging circumstances. May her journey inspire all of us to find and strengthen our own inner courage. Many people know about the great Native American warriors like Sitting Bull of the Lakota, Tecumseh of the Shawnee, and Geronimo of the Apache, who are remembered for defending their lands against colonizers. However, a lesser known but equally remarkable figure is Lozen, an Apache warrior who dedicated her life to protecting her people. Lozen wasn't just a skilled warrior, but also a shaman with a deep sense of humanitarian responsibility. For more than three decades, she fought against Mexican and American soldiers, always focused on the safety of her tribe during a time of great conflict for the Apaches. Raised in the Warm Springs Apache Band, where her father was the leader, Lozen learned the art of war and horseback riding from a young age, skills that made her a relentless defender of her culture and her people. While many young women of her time were focused on learning household chores, preparing meals and marrying early, Lozen had other priorities. She was dedicated to planning military strategies and training with swords and bows. Her talent was so impressive that the leader of her tribe trusted her skills on the battlefield. Besides being an experienced horse rider and an excellent marksman, Lozen was also known for her mystical abilities, which helped her track enemy movements. A close friend of the famous Apache chief Geronimo and sister to Victorio, another respected Apache leader, Lozen may not be as widely recognized by official history as they are, but among her people she's seen as a true legend. Her brother Victorio once said, Lozen is my right hand, as strong as any man, braver than most and extremely intelligent in her tactics, she protects her people. Born around 1840 in the Chihen Apache Band in Ojo Caliente, New Mexico, Lozen grew up at a time when the region, called Apacheria, was home to various Apache tribes and clans spread across northern Mexico, eastern Arizona, and southern New Mexico. The Chihen Band, also known as the Eastern Chiricahua or the Red Painted People, was known for applying red clay to their faces during ceremonies. The Apache tribes, including the Chihen, were famous for their hit-and-run tactics and were constantly on the lookout for new targets. A museum curator and traditional healer at the Mescalero Apache Reservation, located in New Mexico, mentions that the Apaches were originally nomads. He explains that these groups never stayed in one place for long. The name Lozen, which means skilled horse thief, reflected her ability to silently slip between enemies, steal horses, and escape without being noticed. During the long periods of conflict, her cunning and bravery made her indispensable. When she reached adulthood, Lozen began fighting against Mexican soldiers and scalp hunters, who were her tribe's biggest enemies. She continued to battle after the Americans arrived in 1849, claiming indigenous lands. According to Peter Ailsher, author of Warrior Woman, the story of Lozen, Apache warrior and shaman, Lozen's figure sparks debate among scholars, with some arguing that she may be more of a fictional character than a real historical figure. Eve Ball, an internationally recognized historian specializing in Apache culture, first heard about Lozen while researching for her 1970s book Asterisk in the days of Victorio Asterisk. According to Ball, the reason Lozen remained unknown for so long was the Apache's reluctance to reveal that an unmarried woman participated in raids alongside the men. Based on the information Ball gathered, Lozen was extremely skilled in horseback riding, shooting, lassoing, and horse theft. Victorio, an Apache leader, trusted her abilities so much that he considered her equal to the men and wouldn't go on a raid without her. Lozen grew up in a society where women played a crucial role. The central deity in their culture was the white painted woman, which reinforced the importance of women in the community. 
From a young age, Lozen understood that her strength and skills were vital to the survival of her tribe. Despite having a loving family and a stable home, she faced challenges in her childhood, especially because of the unsettling stories her father often told about the dangers surrounding them. When Lozen returned from playing with her brother, she found American soldiers trying to convince them to leave their land with promises of valuable gifts. The military wanted them to relocate. However, when the Apaches refused the offer, they were brutally attacked. Lozen managed to escape with her brother, Victorio, but many of their fellow tribespeople weren't so lucky. The tragedy deeply affected Lozen, who was still a child at the time. Determined to protect her people, Lozen vowed to defend her land at any cost. During the conflicts, she witnessed constant atrocities. In the so-called peace negotiations between indigenous leaders and gold miners, the Apaches were often ambushed and killed. With every life lost, the desire for revenge grew. In retaliation, captured Mexican prisoners were brought to the tribe, chained and gagged. The women of the tribe, mothers and wives of those who had been killed, were tasked with executing the prisoners. Lozen watched as the men were brutally killed, dismembered with knives, or had their hands crushed under the hooves of the tribe's horses. The Apaches were forced to retreat south after a powerful counterattack, but their challenges were far from over. Among them, one woman stood out and was deeply respected as a warrior. According to accounts from Padilla, the Apaches were often accompanied by a female figure who stayed close to the armed man. If he was killed in battle, the woman would take on the responsibility of continuing the fight. They also played a crucial role in protecting their children from danger. Apache society had strict gender norms. Women had clearly defined roles, such as gathering food and handling household tasks. However, in times of war, they were also trained to quickly evacuate with their family's belongings and seek refuge in a safe location. Their physical training started early. Before dawn, they would run to the tops of mountains to strengthen their bodies and minds. Lozen, a legendary warrior, stood out in this context. She was an excellent runner, a skilled horse rider, and proficient with weapons like spears, bows, and rifles. Additionally, she trained the younger generation in horseback riding and combat. Although she never married or had children, Lozen had a deep love for kids and always wished to be a mother. However, her personal circumstances prevented her from fulfilling that dream. She saw the reflection of her own child in every Apache child and dedicated her life to the protection and well-being of the little ones in her community. A young woman named Datest, who was part of the Choconan tribe and also a skilled warrior, became a close ally of Lozen on several missions, always with the goal of protecting their people. Apache stories say that Lozen and Datest were inseparable during this time working side by side on many raids. In the 1930s, accounts shared with anthropologist Morris Opler by Apaches mentioned two women who lived together and maintained an intimate relationship while imprisoned. And many believe these women were Lozen and Dateste. The Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, signed in 1848, turned New Mexico into American territory. That same year, the California Gold Rush brought thousands of miners crossing Apache land. It was around this time that Lozen, just 12 years old, went through an important rite of passage, a puberty ceremony, which led her to travel the mountains alone. According to oral tradition, it was during this time that she gained a spiritual ability to locate enemy soldiers. According to Harlan Geronimo, the great-grandson of the famous Geronimo, Lozen had an impressive ability. She would raise her hands and walk in circles until the veins in her arms turned blue a sign that she was about to identify the exact direction from which the enemy was approaching. Thanks to this ability, the Apaches could anticipate the enemy's movements, prepare for attacks, and avoid ambushes or captures. Lozen was often compared to Joan of Arc for her almost mystical ability to sense the enemy's presence and use this gift to protect her people. Stories about her conversations with Geronimo have been passed down through generations. One of these accounts describes a moment when Geronimo watched Lozen close her eyes with intensity. A strong wind blew, tossing her straight black hair as she focused once again on guiding her people with her supernatural wisdom. Can you tell us if there are any soldiers nearby? He asked calmly. I can, she replied firmly. Lozen stayed quiet for a few moments, her arms extended and her hands slightly cupped. 
The god Usun gave me this gift, she said. He is generous, and this ability is his blessing. Geronimo and his warriors watched, anxiously waiting for her answer. When Lozen opened her eyes, there was an intense glow in them. She was often overcome with emotion, feeling blessed beyond what she thought she deserved. Despite her humility, she knew this divine gift would help her protect her people. Looking at Geronimo and then at the warriors who waited confidently, Lozen reassured them, You can rest peacefully, there are no enemies near us tonight. In 1861, the Apache chief Cochise was falsely accused of stealing cattle and kidnapping members of other Apache clans. The following year, he and another leader gathered 200 warriors and marched to Apache Pass. But they were defeated by the artillery fire from howitzer cannons. Lozen took part in that battle, and because of her courage and skill, she was recognized as a warrior. Alongside her brother Victorio, she continued to fight bravely for the defense of their homeland for many years. It's said that Lozen took part in a daring raid on Fort Craig, where Apache warriors armed with bows and arrows managed to steal horses from military troops. In 1869, she attended an important meeting with her brother Victorio and other Apache leaders to negotiate the creation of a reservation near Ojo Caliente. However, the plans didn't go as expected and they were forced to relocate to the San Carlos Reservation in Arizona, which had much harsher conditions. To avoid capture, the group split up and Lozen took charge, leading a group of women and children through the turbulent waters of the Rio Grande to Mexico. During this crossing, a witness, James K. Waitler, who was traveling with his grandmother, recalled the striking image of a woman on a beautiful horse, holding a gun high in the air, a sight he would never forget. That woman was Lozen. After ensuring the safety of the group, she returned to the battlefield exhausted, wet and cold, but determined. On another occasion, Lozen left her tribe to help a pregnant young woman cross the Chihuahua Desert in Mexico, to her home at the Mescalero Apache Reservation. Armed only with a rifle, a knife, some ammunition, and three days' worth of supplies, she managed to protect the woman throughout the journey. When the time came for the baby to be born, Lozen not only hid the mother-to-be to keep her safe, but also helped her give birth in the middle of the desert, showing her strength and compassion even in the most challenging situations. Lozen, a swift and skilled warrior, brought down a longhorn cow for meat and then managed to capture two horses. She helped a pregnant woman hide in the thick vegetation, making sure they were out of sight. Once she was certain they were safe, she gave the woman space to give birth. Lozen kept watch, her gun resting on her knees, carefully observing the approaching soldiers. To ensure silence, she gently pressed her hand over the woman's lips, muffling her sobs. When the baby was born, Lozen cut the umbilical cord using a sharp stone blade and tied it with a strip of yucca. The newborn let out a soft cry, and Lozen said a prayer for the child before handing him back to his mother. With her rifle in hand, she aimed in the direction of the soldiers, noticing one of the scouts seemingly focused on their position. Her finger hovered over the trigger, ready to act if he came too close. But as the scout got nearer, he suddenly changed direction and rode away. Lozen, the mother, and the baby were safe, alone once again. Meanwhile, the Apache leader Victorio, along with many of his people, was killed in an ambush at Tres Castillos. Some believe that if Lozen had been with Victorio, the attack might have been avoided. However, even after this tragedy, Lozen and the other Apaches continued resisting for another five years, constantly evading the U.S. cavalry. Resentment and anger grew among the Apaches, who had been separated from their families and forced off their lands. Lozen and the Apache people fled from territory to territory, in a constant fight for survival, crossing from New Mexico to Arizona and eventually into Mexico. After Victorio's death, Lozen stayed by Geronimo's side, taking part in a daring raid that freed 600 people from San Carlos in 1882. Three years later, she helped Geronimo once again in his final escape from the reservation. In 1886, Geronimo chose to surrender, believing it was the only way to protect the survivors of his tribe. Shortly after the surrender, he, Lozen, and other Apaches were captured and sent to Florida. Faced with a strange and hostile environment, Many Apaches succumbed to diseases like tuberculosis and diphtheria. Lozen was one of those victims, passing away in 1889. Although many of her relatives eventually made it back west, 
she was buried in an unmarked grave in Alabama. Years later, the site was rediscovered and marked with an inscription in her memory. Jory Padilla, a Chiricahua descendant, shares that some Apache traditions, like the female puberty rites that Lozen participated in, are still preserved today on the Mescalero Reservation. Lozen is a figure still revered by her community today. The descendants of Lozen's ancestors still live among us, Padilla notes, emphasizing the lasting impact of her presence. She is remembered as an incredibly brave woman and one of the most remarkable warriors in history. Her skill, wisdom, and courage, which many attribute to a divine gift, made her unmatched. Few men on the battlefield could compare to her. At that time, it was rare to find women willing to step away from domestic responsibilities and enter combat. But Lozen didn't follow that path. She was unique in every way. While other women chose to take care of their families, she dedicated herself to the fight, always with a clear sense of purpose. She was a skilled warrior, but also someone who cared deeply for her community, balancing strength with compassion. Today, many still consider her an inspiration. Though history is filled with notable figures, Lozen holds a special place. Her story makes us reflect. Was her talent a gift from God for her and her people, or just a coincidence of fate? Either way, she remains wrapped in mystery. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And share your thoughts in the comments about this incredible warrior. Thanks for watching.